For my off season, I'm planning on taking two or three weeks off as well. What other activities do you do to maintain fitness during the off season? And do you continue to do them into your transition phase or even later on? The, the off season is a great time to to pursue other activities other than riding the bike. Um, I like to go running, I like to go walking, I like to basically do anything that I'm not not allowed to do during the year. I say not allowed, but you know, things that you have to take with caution through the year. So, um, Charlie's doing rock climbing at the minute. She's obviously up in Cardiff Uni and she goes rock climbing. That's something that I quite fancy doing. Um, very little injury risk there uh, because the ground is all padded, you know, it's indoor stuff. So you're not like, you know, 20 feet off the ground when you're bouldering. Um, so yeah, th that kind of stuff, you know, and going to the gym, like I'm actually at the gym like now. Uh, well, I'm about to go in and um, I'm going to be doing some, some swimming and uh, sitting in the sauna and steam room for a bit. Um, in terms of like, Gym work, I mean, it's something I do early doors. So as soon as I stop riding, as soon as I stop training, I'll get in the gym as soon as possible. I'm in the gym most of the year anyway, but I'll get in the gym properly. So I'll be there like every two days probably. And but it but it won't be it won't be really hard strenuous stuff. It'll just be like lightweight stuff. Um, and if if you want to hear about that, I'm sure I can do like a proper video on it but I'm not quite ready to do that yet because like I'm not actually doing anything worth videoing uh in the gym <laughs> so uh when when I do it I'll let you know um but yeah so but something I'll do every day is a mobility routine um which is something I probably can show you because I don't need to go to the gym to do that um so I'll start off my gym routine anyway with the mobility routine and then I'll do um my well the warm-up and the mobility kind of mix in and then like my main session especially like during the off season um because you've got to maintain like your your ability to stay like supple and stuff like that is is a a, a specifically designed workout that's just for me um, and we get given that when we go to our medicals every year and uh, the only thing that's like strenuous really is the running um, because you know I haven't done any running for a long time so it is a bit hard at first when you get into it but again don't do too much of it because you get carried away like you know you, you talk about like doing lots of miles on the bike and then you're like oh, I'll go up for a 10k run and no you can't do a 10k run uh, well not straight away anyway but um, I've been doing like a couple of 5Ks, so I did a 5K the other day and I uh, managed to clock in a 3, 3, 50, three minute 50 second kilometer uh, 5K, which was um, not my fastest, but it, you know, I'm not in great shape at the minute, so I'll take that. When I do the mobility stuff, that's like my most important thing because it's not it's not just like keeping yourself like in 100% good shape it's also about like making sure your muscles are firing in the correct way so like we practice like pelvic tilts and stuff and because of the way you sit on the bike your back is always scrunched up something that uh, I can give a good example of right now is like shoulders so when my shoulders go in like we all have kind of like a rounded upper back um, one exercise that we do do to kind of pull that open is um, using one of those big elastic band things I'm gonna get choked at here but um, <laughs> big elastic band things and you kind of pull it and you squeeze your shoulder blades back um, when you get to there so that's working your upper back but it's also making sure that you're staying tight like you're not collapsing in there um, and lots of pec stretches because that's another reason why we hunch all the time is because our pecs are so tight because we're always in on the bike it's good to open them up